thank you, Vincent. Um, 20 years ago, I sat in the equivalent of this room and people talked about um, the notion of getting your television guide integrated with the television. 10 years ago, Web TV and other companies of its kind said maybe we should find a way to integrate the way you communicate and the way you use the web onto your television. We've been waiting a long, long time for today. It took a lot to make this happen. Let's start with what it took. It took the internet. It took extraordinarily fast CPUs, DSPs, a whole new architecture around software, the winning of open source, and all of the platforms that you've seen. It's much harder to marry a 50-year-old technology and a brand new technology than those of us from the brand new technology area thought. Of the things that we did, and you saw in the demo, you saw the full potential of cloud computing. You saw the ability to actually go from the server to the client, in this case, the television, and you could even program it. And program it using the powerful tools that we all use every day. There was one other thing that we needed, and, that, and, and it turned out to be fundamental. We needed a whole ecosystem of partners. What I'd like to do is to bring the CEOs of some significant partners that made this happen on stage right now. First, Paul Olini, CEO of Intel. Um, you've been on the other side of an awful lot of stuff. 
Uh, flash roughly is used by 100% of the web, but it might be 99.97%. .97%. So why is Flash so important to this? What is Flash going to be used for in this new platform? Uh, why are we fighting for Flash? Well, Eric, first, I, I think it's tremendously exciting uh, announcements here. Thanks for having us. Um, I think it really is all about engaging experiences on the web. And as was uh, discussed, really the convergence of getting that content and applications to any device that people wish to consume those content and applications on, whether it's a smartphone on Android, whether it's TV, or whether it's a PC. And uh, as far as we're concerned, this is really about trying to create family harmony. So if uh, Rishi's family can get Elmo when they want and uh, the NBA when they want, it's all in flash and it works as advertised across all of these different devices. And I think for all of the content creators here, we'd love to get them an opportunity to be able to express their creativity and get it across all of this uh, set of devices. What is it special about Flash and this platform? Uh, there's clearly hardware acceleration. Is there something that Flash does special here that makes this more interactive, zippier? You know, what's the technical thing that happens as a result of it? Why are you using Flash? Well, we're working on 10.1, and I think we announced 10.1 Flash. Flash. Uh, and we announced today that we're going to have a public data on Android. Uh, and what we've had to do really was to take into account uh, some of the key issues to get it to, to really sing on these devices. So things like battery life, things like performance, and uh, really getting the entire power of the web, whether it's high definition video or whether it's casual gaming, where you know uh, most of the casual gaming now on the web is in fact on your particular platform. So it's been a, a ton of work with uh, Sony and with Google to really make sure that it's optimized for the respective platforms. So, so, how, so Sir Howard, when you, when you think about Sony, and you think about, and to me Sony is tough for Sony. So, <laughs> so are people going to go out and buy new televisions because of this? I mean, what is the, in fact the state of the television industry the breadth of this, from my perspective, now I haven't seen the full demo, including some Bluetooth issues, it's, it's much broader than I thought. Because it's maybe possible that people will spend as much time or more watching something other than television on their televisions. Yeah, I, I think it is thrilling, and I agree with you. I, mean, I was watching demonstrations here today which were, which showed what can be accomplished. I mean, it was stressful with all everybody's Bluetooth on and phones on and so forth. So it was a fairly stressful experience. But when you put all this as we've, as we've, we've done for the fall into the world's first internet television, all that will be simplified and made seamless. So that the, the, the opportunities that you've demonstrated are just mind-boggling. I mean, it's, it's essentially evolving all the time. It's upgradable all the time. The more you find out about the, the find out about the internet, the more entertainment you find for yourself. The, the react, not just existing content, but reality content. What you can do with each other, your families, and so forth. The good and the bad and the ugly. And, and all of this is plausible on this um, feature. When we, we launch it in the fall, um, with everything. Did I, did, I, did I just hear that when we launch this in the fall? That will be this year. This year. Yeah, well, that's why we're being very kissy to Best Buy. <laughs> we appreciate the love of them. Yeah. <laughs> May it be returned. <laughs> so, you know, Sony is, is uh, and we, at Google, we always use Sony as sort of the definition of an innovative company. This one interesting idea after the other, sometimes hugely successful, sometimes not as successful, but a passion of innovation that started from literally the founding of the firm. 